Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on tricuspid regurgitation murmur, which is a systolic murmur. A tricuspid regurgitation murmur is a high-pitched, pan-systolic murmur, that gets louder on inspiration, heard best over the left sternal edge in the fourth intercoastal space. In this picture, the two blue lines depict the first and second heart sounds, showing the murmur is throughout the systolic phase. A variety of diseases may cause tricuspid regurgitation. Most commonly, it is secondary to dilatation of the right ventricle and not to disease of the valve itself. Any cause of right ventricular dilatation can cause tricuspid regurgitation, and it is the most common cause. Other common causes include rheumatic heart disease, and infective endocarditis. Less common causes are Epstein's anomaly and other congenital abnormalities, prolapse, carcinoid syndrome, papillary muscle dysfunction, connective tissue disease, or trauma. For its general mechanism, an incompetent tricuspid valve allows blood to flow back from the right ventricle to the right atrium during systole. The flow across the incompetent valve causes the murmur. The augmentation of the murmur with inspiration is likely due to inspiration causing a large increase in effective regurgitants and tricuspid annular enlargement, which despite a decline in regurgitant gradient, causes a notable increase in volume. As in other valvular disorders, a malfunction or anomaly in the valve itself, the annulus or any other part of the valvular apparatus that does not allow normal coaptation of valve leaflets can cause tricuspid regurgitation. Let's look at the specific mechanism for its causes. Right ventricular dilatation. This is the most common cause of tricuspid regurgitation. In itself, the valve is normal. Right ventricular failure and dilatation of any cause, such as myocardial infarction, pulmonary hypertension, mitral valve disease leading to secondary right ventricular dilatation including the tricuspid annulus, does not allow proper coaptation of the leaflets, leading to regurgitation during systole. Next in carcinoid syndrome. Excessive serotonin stimulates fibroblast proliferation and plaque development, and deposition on the endocardium and valvular apparatus causes the tricuspid valve to adhere to the ventricular wall. Whereas in connective tissue disease, abnormalities in the connective tissue and collagen produce a floppy valve, and may also produce dilatation of the annulus, both of which contribute to poor coaptation of leaflets. For cases of rheumatic fever, as in mitral and aortic rheumatic heart disease, scarring and stiffening of the valve and the chorde tendony, reduces mobility and the ability of the valve to close properly. This is a flow chart showing the various causes leading to tricuspid regurgitation. It is a summary of what was explained previously. That's all for this video. Thank you.